appreciate the very long introduction. That was great. That was great. Do you ever Google your name and realize how not successful you are? Clap if you've ever Googled yourself. Yeah. We've all done it. When I Google my name, I see Hannah Quinn, CEO of a startup. Hannah Quinn, film director in Hollywood. Hannah Quinn, arrested for helping samurai sword killer. I'm none of those, just in case I needed to clear that up. I don't even pop up in Google unless you look up Hannah Quinn depressed. I literally tested that out earlier. It happens. When you look up my name, Hannah Quinn depressed, it's just my LinkedIn. <laughs> First thing. I used to have depression, but I don't anymore. Clap for that. <laughs> Thanks to some guy at the gas station who told me to just smile. <laughs> yeah, that fifth time really did the trick. Ladies, if you've never been hit on by a guy at a gas station, you're lying! You're lying! We all have been hit on by a guy at a gas station. Guys, you've probably also been hit on by a guy at a gas station. They'll talk to anybody. They really will. One time I was on a road trip and I stopped to fill up and it said see cashier. So I went inside. The cashier came from behind the counter, pulled me in, kisses me, hands me a single chicken strip on a napkin, <laughs> and says, sorry, I don't speak English. <laughs> I don't think that's what you should be sorry for right now. And circling back to the chicken strip, I don't think that's a fair trade. I feel like I at least heard a three-piece, you know, maybe some sauce, I don't know. Then again, most people don't usually compensate for assault, so I feel like I won, right? But then I was thinking, is that what they want when it says see cashier? Because I'm never falling for that one again. <laughs> Unless I'm like a little hungry and then, yeah. then I might. <laughs> yeah. Gas stations, man. <laughs> Actually, I have a tiny treasure map in my pocket for moments like this. I've had two different therapists fall asleep on me during session. <laughs> For those of you who have never been to therapy, that's not normal, in case you're questioning that. The first time you're like, okay, that's kind of weird, kind of rude. The second time, am I really that boring? Like, come on, what do I have to say? I saw an ad for social anxiety research. I bet it's hard to get those guys to participate. <laughs> I should know, I've signed up two different times and I canceled, I was a little scared. <laughs> I have a really harsh inner critic, you know, that inner voice. And I was talking to my therapist and he asked, whose voice is in your head when you're feeling critical? It's like, uh, I don't know. And then I spent one day with my mom. <laughs> yeah, that's the voice. That's it. Now, I love my mom. She's just like a super Catholic woman. Not to be confused with Catholic superwoman. Not that any of you were confused by that. <laughs> and you know, I was raised Catholic. And uh, my mom would always make my brother and I say honest to God when she thought we were lying. She'd be like, did you brush your teeth today? Yes. Honest to God? No. 
And I thought it was a Catholic thing, but it turns out it's just a my mom thing. And I loved lying as an adult because I can. But I'm a bad liar. Because if anybody were to hit me with the honest to God, I would just give it right there. And that's why I think Abraham Lincoln's mom must have done the same thing, too. You know, honest Abe, never told a lie. Nobody's that honest unless you're scared of something. And we all know we don't lie to mom, especially not on honest to God. And, you know, I picture... I'm with a guy. He says, so was it good for you? <laughs> yeah, great. Thanks. See you later. Honest to God. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> you got me. Or worse, I'm in a job interview, and they ask, so why did you leave your last job? Oh, you know, I was just looking for a better opportunity. Honest to God. I got fired. <laughs> that was it, I got fired. I have pretty bad road rage, as you can probably tell by my intimidating aura. And I was driving the other day, trying to get on the interstate, and some guys just stopped at the yield. Okay. So I hit him with the, you know, the, what are you doing, buddy? Like, that'll show him. That'll do it. <laughs> So then I whip around him and quickly found out why he was stopped. The car in front and behind me had their hazard lights on. I was like, oh, I just pulled out into a funeral procession. <laughs> so I turned my hazard lights on. I was like, sorry guys, just run a little late, you know me. But as we're going along, I'm like, When's the right time to leave a funeral procession that I pulled out into like a jerk? It's never, it's, there's not a good time. So I did what anybody else would do, and I followed him all the way to the cemetery. But you can't leave once you get to the cemetery, because who follows a funeral procession for someone they don't know, and then just leaves. So I was like, okay, you know, I'll just keep my head down, uh, just pay my respects. And then some lady comes up to me, and she says, so how did you know Margie? I was like, uh, I, I worked with her back in the day. She was like, oh, so you, you used to work at the church. Sure. Yeah, I, I worked at the church. Honest to God. <laughs> Thank you guys, I've been Hannah Quinn.